Hey, I'm Tom. Some of you guys had problems with installing Android 4.4 KitKat to your Motorola DeFi. So this video is for clarifying all the things that you may or may not know. So let's get started. So as you can see my device is running Android 2.3.6 which is gingerbread. So this tutorial is gonna be a complete and full one. So if you don't have CM10 or above on your Android phone, this is for you. So the first thing that you want to do is you have to open your browser and I will post all the links for the various files in the description below so you can find all of them there. The first thing and the first link will take you to a page like this where you have to find a folder called CM10 second boot nightly. You click on that and you scroll all the way down where you find the last file, this one with this little red and white icon. You have to download this. I already did that. The second link will take you to a page like this where you download your CM11 nightly D5 Plus. So this is Android 4.4 KitKat. You click on the folder and you have to find not the alpha one. So this is this isn't the latest one, but one above it. So CM11, which is the 20th of January. You click on that and you have to download it. And also this says update recovery. You have to download this one too. The last thing that you have to do will be in the third link, which will take you to a page like this, where you have to download the Google Apps for your KitKat ROM. So you have to find that says 116G app score 4.4.2. You have to click on that and it will take you to a page where you can download it. So these are the files that you downloaded. The one that says CM10 will update your phone to Android 4.1 and with this one you will be able to install the latest coded files like your recovery updater and your KitKat ROM and your Google Apps. Here is your Google Apps package, your KitKat, the recovery updater and the CM10. And you have to copy all these four files to your phone's SD card. Once you are done, take your phone and you have to reboot it to recovery. As always, when you are booting up, you have to press your volume down key when the blue LED appears now and here you have to find recovery and custom recovery for me now the first thing that you want to do is to update your phone to CM10 which is the first package that you have to install but if you have CM10 so Android 4.1 or above so like 4.1 or 4.2.2 or 4.3 or 4.4 KitKat, you don't have to do this step, so you can skip that. But if you are starting from scratch, I mean from Gingerbread 2.3, you have to do a factory reset. Once your phone is back to the factory settings, you have to install your Android 4. Point one, so CM10 
zip. So you choose zip from SD card and you find it wherever you copied it. So this is the one, so CM10. Click on that and you start the installation procedure. You let it finish and after that I'll be back. Once the installation is finished you have to go back and you have to reboot your phone. You have to boot up, you, you let it boot up So you don't go to your recovery when your phone is restarting. So you don't press it. You let your phone to boot up to your Android 4.1 to complete the installation. So once your phone is booted up, you have to restart it to recovery. You select recovery and you hit restart. Here you have to press install and now you have to find, find your update recovery zip file. You press on that you double check what you are installing. As you can see I'm not installing the correct one. So you select update recovery and you swipe to confirm. You let it finish. It will be quite a quick one. And now you have to press again reboot system. And now when you are rebooting you have to press your volume down key to get to your boot menu. There we go, you press on recovery and team win recovery. And it will take you to your updated recovery menu. Now you have to do a full wipe, so you click on wipe, you press on advanced wipe and here, when we are in focus, come on, yeah, here, no, almost, yeah, so here you have to select Delvi cache, cache, data, and system, and make sure that you are, that your SD card box isn't checked, and now you have to swipe to wipe. Click on back, you go back to your home screen and here you click on install and now you have to select your zip that contains your Android 4.4 KitKat. So here we've got the CM11 zip, you just click on that and you swipe to confirm. Once your installation is done, you click on wipe cache slash Davik, you swipe to wipe, you press on back and you click on home, install and now you have to find your 1.16 gapps core 4.4.2 zip. So these are the Google apps. You click on that and you swipe to confirm. Once you are done, you press on wipe cache slash Dalvik again, you swipe to wipe, go back and you press on reboot system 
and now you can let your phone boot up to your newly installed KitKat operating system. So there you go folks, this is your phone with Android 4.4.2 KitKat on it. And I don't want to show you the features of this ROM, but I want to show you one thing that you can notice here, which is Cyanogen mode updates. And if you click on that, you will be greeted with an OTA, also known as on the air updates window, where you can see all the little updates that are available for this ROM and you can download each one and install each one to your phone. And this is because the developer of this ROM set up a OTA bot that will be posting little updates for our phone. So there we go guys, that's pretty much it and let me know in the comments what do you think of this tutorial and if you have succeeded installing this ROM and let me know what do you think of the new video quality because I was recording this video with my new Nexus 7 2013 and you can say that oh you are a freak you are recording this with a tablet but hey this is a 1080p camera so let me know in the comments what do you think of the picture quality so if you liked this video, liked it, and please share it with your friends. So, bye.